Harbor Freight Workbench. Got to get this installed or put together quick because it's getting ready to rain soon and I am mostly working outside. So I've been converting the milk room of my goat barn into a mini woodworking shop. Most of this stuff was down in my basement. I actually still have some of the goat stuff over here I need to move. Um, but I brought my table saw in here, my dust vac, my band saw, my drill press. Now I'm getting ready to build this small workbench to go along this wall here. And then I still have a router joiner that will go on that wall over there once I get that other stuff out. It's going to be kind of tight in here, but it's about the same space that I had in the basement and I made it work. I just got to get stuff out of the basement. So here we go. So this is packaged up pretty nice, but I'm going to have to drag all the parts out and put them in the order to assemble it and then just do it within the space that I have. Thought I'd go ahead and show you this. Everything is clearly labeled. I don't know if you can see that right there. There's a five, there's another five. I saw a 26 and a 27. Um, I basically unloaded everything out of the box and just have it laid on the ground outside with the numbers where I can see them. So the first thing you do, you take the two end piece legs that look like this. You make sure that your drawers are facing the same way so that when they open you want your sliders going in the same direction which I've got and then you connect the cross piece 5 to this yeah so this is kind of the way this goes there's a little round barrel thing on a nut the barrel part goes in here and then the nut goes or the bolt goes through the leg into this so that it, you can tighten it down it looks like these uh, barrels are the barrel part is self-centering Next, we install the shelf, which is number six. It was in the bottom of the box and covered up with styrofoam. So that'll go there. It says it takes two people to install these. Well, I'm a one-person show, so i got to make it work. Next, you're supposed to put the tabletop on a smooth, flat surface. Well, that seems like that is this. <laughs> Then I need sliding partition two. And there's my front. So that's the way the drawer's got to go. And this looks like about where it needs to go. Are these holes not pre-drilled? Nope, they're not. So it wants you to put this tabletop on upside down, which I'm obviously not going to be able to do in here. 
So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this tabletop so that it's on there the correct way. So you're going to want to make sure you get your table lined up correctly. The screws are on the corners. You can only get about an eighth of a turn on them. Now the one that's in the uh, center, you can get about a half a turn on. Probably about as easy now just to bring everything in here. 12, 11s, 12s, 9s, another 12, 3 11s, 3 12s, 2 6s, 2 10s. So step 12, skip it because they're already attached. Start one side, go over and do the other side because just make it easier. It says remove the screw vise washer. Here on the end. This will go with the holes facing upwards. So you got 11 and a 12, and then a 9. So there's a 9, an 11 and a 12. I guess it's easy to line them up based on the drawer bottom groove. I can tell you this, even though this is hardwood, so they say, don't use a power tool because I've already had a couple of these that are stripping out under not, not very much pressure. So just use a screwdriver on anything that's Phillips and don't like torque it, torque it down. So it shows that these holes go toward the back. It should be like this. It's almost insane the number of screws they got just to hold that back piece on. Three along the bottom, two along each edge. So that's a. Uh, Four, seven screws to hold this one board on the back of this. And then this would be 11, which is the left one. I have a feeling it won't be long and I'm going to be taking these apart and gluing them and sticking them back together because most of the screws have stripped out on this.
One down. Something like that. We are done. Although, I think these uh, are probably a little too tall for this table, but whatever. There we go. Wasn't too bad. The uh, Just got to be careful when you put the screws in because they will strip out fairly easy, but other than that, wasn't too horribly bad. There we go. The uh, vise is kind of on the wrong side for me. I've actually got some plans to do some upgrades to this. The drawers actually open pretty easy. You know, it's most of the time with me for like, I'm not going to be beaten on top of this, but um, I needed a place to assemble beehive frames and I didn't want to take up a lot of space. Um, right before I got cancer, I actually bought everything, all the hardware to build a DIY woodworking bench. And uh, of course then I got cancer, but I've repurposed all the wood. I still have all the hardware. So that's kind of why I said, I'm actually gonna put, um, I'm going to build this end up over here and put a leg vise. And uh, we'll just see what else I can do. I've got a way better vise than probably this one. But again, I'm kind of like, even if that stuff was out of the way, I don't really have a whole lot of room over there. So, But, I mean, for right now, this bench will have to do just fine because it's all I've got. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.